Hi, beaters. It's Kat from Cat's Divinely Designs. So I just wanted to share with you my little story about not making bracelets. For years, I avoided making bracelets too because, to be honest, I hate crimping. I can't do it. I hate it. No matter how, I tr how hard I try, no matter what crimping tool I get, it doesn't work. I can't stand it. So the other day, I found this incredible thing that you probably already know about, but I want to share it with you and show you how to work it in case you don't know it. Ta-da! It's called the Magical Crimping Forming Tool. Crimp Forming Tool. I believe Beadsmith makes it. And you can find it on Amazon. I'll link it below. And the only, um, I think, downfall is that you should probably use the crimping beads that are suggested to use with them. I have never tried anything other than it, the magical crimp beads, because, as I said, I just got it the other day. I'm sure you can use other ones, but I use the 2 by 2 mils magical crimp beads that go with these, and believe it or not, they work. They work. They're beautiful. They make your your the ends of your crimps look like 2 mil beads, So and they crimp them. I can't believe it. So anyway, I just did one and I want to show you how nice it looks at the end of your bracelet. So we started making bracelets like crazy. But anyway, here's here's the tool and it's purple. My favorite color. Love it, love it, love it. It's not like a traditional crimper. It only has one stop in there. One little crimping stop. So it's real easy to use. Um, you know, I'm disabled, so I have all those hand issues and stuff. Um, you don't need to apply a lot of pressure to it at all. The crimping bead looks like this when you get it out, like a traditional, regular crimping bead. I don't know if you can see that. Like a regular crimping tube. See? And then when it's crimped, it looks like that. A beautiful little two by two bead and all you do is you put your bead inside the little notch it sits right in there really nicely and you press you don't need to apply a lot of pressure and then you turn while it's still in there don't remove it from there just turn it and press it using like little intervals I'll just keep doing it all day I'm obsessed and then once you feel like the resistance going you'll know it's crimped i mean but you'll always double check like you did with any other crimper it's done it's crimped it's not going anywhere but if you want to secure it even more just keep keep doing it if you have to apply a little more pressure apply the pressure and that's it. And your bead comes out looking gorgeous. So, I mean, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. There it is. That's the finished product. I'll link everything below, as usual. And uh, that's all I got. So, ciao for now. Yeah, I'm in my pajamas. Don't laugh. Bye.